good morning. Great to be with you again on this Thursday. And yes, you are with George at Growth Point, growing as you're going through life. And man, let me tell you, life is getting so difficult. We need to keep attached to that vine. That's the, the, our vine, the Lord Jesus Christ, the one that will give us life. Not so. And so it's important again for us to be connected to him. Now, today, as we've been speaking about faithfulness throughout this week and our one scripture found Revelations 2 verse 10 today, what you are connected to will reveal one's faithfulness. Now again, what you're connected to will reveal to whom you are faithful to. Not so. Now again, remember Revelation 2 verse 10 says, Remain faithful even when facing death. Mm, remain faithful even when things around you are crumbling. Remain faithful to God even when things do not look as good as what they, they, they need to be looking. Remain faithful to God even though your bank balance, you're struggling with it. Remain faithful to God even when your, your, your workplace is not a joy anymore but has become a burden. Remain faithful to God and God will change it. You say, yeah, but I go home and you know what? Things are not good there at home. Well, remain faithful to God and allow God to bring that love back into your life that you first had when you met each other. Not so. This is what God wants to do because, because the scripture goes on to say this, I will give you the crown of life. Hmm. There's a lot of death around in the world today. We need the crown of life. And the crown of life can only be found in the person Christ Jesus. Now again, this is what I believe the devil wants to do. He wants to break you down. He will do everything in his power to break you down. The devil wants to steal life and he will do everything in his power to destroy your life. <laughs> He'll bring across those burdens in your life, those temptations in your life. He'll, he'll cause things to happen in your life. Why? To distract you to take you away from being faithful to God. But again, I want to say to you that Holy Spirit wants to bring you back into the family of God. Again, there we find our security when we are found in the faithfulness of God. Now, today, I want to encourage you. A well-known scripture. You've heard me say it so many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John chapter 10, verse 10. Listen, the thief comes only to steal and kill and to destroy. This is what he does. I have come. This is what Jesus is saying. He says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Yeah, that you will have a crown of life. Just as Jesus said again to the church in Smyrna, there in the book of Revelation, encourage them to remain faithful to him. Come on, I want to encourage you on this Thursday, no matter what is happening in your life, remain faithful to God. You see, the only way to destroy the enemy of God is through the word. <laughs> Stand upon his word. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, I, I can recall uh, the years gone by when I preached many a times. I stood on the word to demonstrate how important it was to stand on the word of God. Put it down there on the platform and stand on and say, people, we need to stand upon this word. We need to keep this word alive within us because you know what? It gives us life. The crown of life is found in the person Christ Jesus. And this, this book tells me of that great love of God. Now, come on. I want you to hold on to God. Here are some keys. I'm going to give you some keys quickly today on this Thursday that possibly could help you. Not possibly, will help you. Come on. Uh, it's a given. If we apply these principles, we will overcome the enemy. Number one, learn how to call on the name of God through his word. Ah, there I go back to the word of God. Now we need to claim God. We need to stand upon the word of God. We need to call upon the name of the Lord. And again, when when I read the word of God, I point out, God, this is what you said. This is what you said you would do. This is how you said you would do it. And I come back to the word of God. N number, number two, confess. The confession of sin is important to obtain freedom from sin, past and present. Past and present, we need to confess. We need to co come to God quickly. Not, not wait upon it, not allow that, that sin to, to grow roots within our lives. No, we need to come. Once we sin, we need to come to God. Why? The Word of God teaches us. Jesus taught His disciples to pray. Lead us not to temptation, but away from it. God, if I fall into temptation, then I need to be quick to confess and come to you. Number three, 
confession of sin is important to obtain freedom from sin, past and present. I said that. Uh, I, I've kind of just lost my place. Fill your heart with a forgiving spirit. If you forgive God, God will forgive you. I didn't number them, so I'm losing my place, but forgive me. Now, again, this is what I'm saying to you. Conf you fill your heart with a forgiving spirit. Be quick to forgive. I just said that. Now, again, <laughs> declare the blood of Jesus as you cover yourself. Declare the blood of Jesus over you. Saturate yourself with the blood of Jesus and allow the enemy to run and flee from you. Cut every tie you have to sin past and present <laughs> come on cut yourself from that sin how do i do it confession <laughs> how do i do it? come to the word of god how do i do it i declare it to god now declare that the breath of god dwells in you through the power of holy spirit that is what we need to do we need to declare that over our lives and then finally surrender your all to christ and begin to live life in him and through him by doing what? Putting God first. So why not? On this Thursday, put God first. <music>